I am going to make a presentation on safety system. This topic will be on energize to safe state. This video is being taken on behalf of instrumentationtools.com and automationcommunity.com. Kindly watch and subscribe to the channel. Basics of safety instrumented system energy state. What is energy state? In safety instrumented system, energy is to safe loop, which is alternately known as energy is to trip. Energy is to safe state means during plant normal condition, no electrical current flows through the instrument loop. For example, solenoid valve in cis valve or delage valve. Under the plant normal operating condition, no current flows through the solenoid valve. In energized to safe loop, electrical current flows through the instrument loop, for example, solenoid valve during plant trip condition. Loop will be energized during plant upset, trip, or shutdown condition. Whenever there is a plant trip occurs due to any hazardous event happening, that time the power goes through the solenoid valve to make it open, to make the main valve open. Okay, energy is to save state for delage valve, typical. Here we are seeing a typical example of a delage valve which is used in the fire protection system. To clearly understand the working principle of energy is to save state, refer picture of a simple loop. The example is about a delage valve used in fire protection system. It consists of a push button here and solenoid valve control a delage valve. So here this is the main valve which is known as a uh, delage valve and here the FO stands for fail open condition and this is operated through the solenoid valve and the delage valve is the one used in the fire protection applications. So it receives water from a fire water ring header across the plant and whenever uh, these valves are situated at many plant locations, plant areas near the pumps, near the vessels and all, wherever there is a possibility of any fire happening to quench the fire, these valves will be operated. And this is what mentions goes to the coverage area the out outlet of this valve goes to the coverage area so the delage valve is the one mainly being used for the fire protection across the industries across the plants okay here in this case during plant normal condition whenever there is no fire the push button contact is at open position so that no current flows within the loop the push button is at op open position so no current passes through crosses through it and goes to the solenoid to make it open similarly the solenoid valve of a delage valve is not being energized by electrical power because once the push button is pressed only the current goes through the solenoid valve so whenever as long as the push button is at open position no power is going to the solenoid valve of the main delage valve. So this condition drives the delage valve to close position, prevents the fire water from ring main passing through the delage valve. So the valves are in close position, uh, thereby the uh, fire water does not pass through the main delage valve. If there is a fire in that area or zone, the operators receives an alarm through fire protection system and activate the push button and changes state to close position and enables electrical current flows through the loop. In the earlier slide, we saw the push button is in open position during the normal condition, but whenever there is a fire, the operator is pushing the push button there could be some automated automated actions also through the fire protection system so during that condition the current flows through the uh, push button and flows through the solenoid valve also this current sig will signal the control system and execute the predetermined action that is to open delage valve by energizing the solenoid valve 
thereby water flow through the dilage valve to extinguish the fire the which is available in the fire water header the valve gets admitted through the dilage valve and uh, goes to the respective area and zones thereby it is helping to uh, extinguish the fire in case of any note this switching principle is also commonly applied for esd push button for shutting down a plant in the plants uh, due to any fire or any other emergency situations there could be a requirement to operate uh, emergency shutdown push button for that area to get sh shut down or that area to get isolated by shutting down the process so those push buttons also have the normally open contact and used uh, for a similar application like whenever the push button is pressed the current flows through it okay what are the advantages of energized to safe state to overcome mall operation of final element that is activation of a dilage bulb and the above example due to instrument failure or unintended instrument cable disconnection so this helps to this uh, energized to safe state principle helps to overcome mall operation of the final element unlike dnaj state to safe mode energized to safe mode type of devices and systems does not have impact with only one failure on solenoid valve cable or system side fault if there is a cable cut due to xyz reasons um or any system side fault that is the io model io card is getting failed in those conditions as the power is not reaching to the uh, solenoid valve during the normal operating conditions it is not harmful so in other case whenever it is a dnaj state the power is going to the solenoid valve so whenever there is a cable cut or io card failure it leads to the closing of the valve and leads to a closing of the main valve which is not the case in this nij to safe state as long as the power is not flowing through the loop failure of cord does not have impact but whereas uh, there shall be some system side fault indications which will require the operator and maintenance engineer's attention to go on attend to the fault and refix the issue or refix the failed module in case of any so these are all the advantages for energized to safe state Okay thank you